Spencer. It's certainly got the legs. And it's arrow straight from Ben Spencer. A 3-0 lead for Halebury. And Spencer almost predictably bangs over the extras. Well, bangs over the points. 6-0 lead for Halebury, and they are taking advantage of this yeah. yellow card period. And now Perry talking and jibing at his forwards and backs around him to get them into position. They go wide, could be isolated, but it's tremendous feet, wonderful feet from Henry Boyle there. Outstanding stuff, he looked isolated, looked as though he had to force himself not to be tackled, but his dancing feet took him away and then the pace and acceleration to get around the corner and across the whitewash and a wonderful bit of solo work there. It looked as though there was nowhere to go. He's on his own, but he just ducks the tackle, dances across, and forces his way down on the left-hand side. Strong handoff. He doesn't even let the defender anywhere near him. And as we say, Halebury, solid scrum there. Spencer with options. And it's Hoys through the middle, busting through the middle, breaks the tackle under the post. And Hoys. Showing tremendous power to bust through in midfield and streak away under the post. And if we said Boyle was like a young man to Elangi, well then Hoyes is definitely going to follow suit with that analogy as well, isn't he? Who gets away from a good scrum and you can see Spencer looking for him and looking for him and he gets the pass through and it's just power to break through the two tackles and accelerate away. He plays a lot of touch rugby, but you wouldn't think that after a run like that caught it well just creeps over and Seaford College narrow the gap down to 13-8 Halebury then this scrum to clear their lines three minutes left to play Spencer kicks long but keeps it in field Bowley finds space down the left hand side Bowley streaking down the left cuts inside he didn't have to but my goodness he's going towards the post Will Bowley, the Rolls-Royce at the back, a stunning try. The space just opened up for him on the left-hand side. He just rounded his ch kick chase, stepped in field here in an almost unbelievable moment, wasn't it? You thought, why, 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 is, he, why is he taking the man on? Bowley been taken off kicking GT. Must have a bit of a knock, and it'll be Henry Boyle that'll take this kick. Ten left to kick. Foley, of course, though, the usual kicker, so he knew what he was doing, but... Boyle pushes the kick wide. We stay level at 13 apiece. And now the players go wide outside. Green almost with the interception. But there's space out wide here. And now it's down on the left-hand side. Just held short. Do you turn left? No. Halebury on the charge. Can they finish this game with one of the most exciting and thrilling finishes that they will have had in years? Seaford College piling bodies into the breakdown. It's over the try line. Seaford bodies underneath it. Not quite over the try line as it turns out. Another opportunity. Short. Hayes held short. Ball's lifted. Halebury go blind. Foot in touch. The final whistle goes. The game ends in a draw. Halebury 13. Seaford College 13. A stunning, stunning climax to the game.